Welcome to Call of the Wild Tutorials, and today we're out here on Yukon Valley and we're continuing our skill series. And today we're talking about the skill Wind Prediction. So I've never used this skill myself before, so we're going to see what it's all about and see if it's something that we would want to run. So it comes with two levels. The first level unlocks the ability to detect when the general wind speed is about to increase by observing how it rolls over the landscape. Ambient wind noise masks your movement noise, allowing you to move more quietly. So that sounds promising. Level 2 unlocks the ability to approximate the general wind direction and when it will change. So what I'm kind of interested in here is if there's a visual cue for that wind noise coming over and if it's going to reduce the sound at all. And, and then we'll get to see. I'm kind of thinking this is going to be like the weather prediction. So let's uh, add a skill point in here and just kind of before we activate it, we're just going to go and check it out where when we look at the sky, for me, this is how I judge the wind. We can see the debris moving. We can see the direction it's moving and it's moving rather quickly. So we know the wind speed is moving rather rapidly. So let's just go and activate this skill now. As with all green skills, they're active skills. So you have to buy them and then activate them in order to be able to use them. So once again, just looking at the visual cues here, we can see, we can look at our hunter mate, it's uh, 8.57, so that's important, so we know the time. So there's our icon there, let's activate it. And as we can see, it's showing us the wind speed when it's gonna change, and the times it's gonna change. Now it topped out at 12.57, so that means it lasts for four hours. Uh, interesting to note here is it's got a 10 minute cooldown, much like the weather prediction. So we'll see how long that it holds out for here. So once again, we can see the wind speeds changing and it's done. So that's weird. It's only shows the information for 30 seconds. So I guess that's okay. We don't really need to know that long. You think it would just scroll for the entire time that the, that the, it's active. So once again, we can see the wind moving, but let's test out to see if it affects the sound at all. We can see that as we're moving, it's still about the same. Now, once again, let's remember that while it might not show up on the sound bar, maybe there is a quantity limit that we can't see that's in game. Um, now, when we're moving backwards up the hill, that's against the wind, we are a little bit down. But I think it does that on a regular basis anyways when we're moving up hills because we're moving a little bit slower than a full run. But we'll just kind of jog around here. Once again, I don't really see much difference in the sound bar. So that's, I don't know, that's to judge. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a sound, a decibel limit that it's gone down a little bit that we just can't see on our sound bar itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out and I'm going to go and reset this skill. And then we're going to add the second skill point in to see if it makes a difference. So to reset the timer, like weather prediction, I actually had to leave the game in order to do that. And then it reset it when I came back in. And as you can see, when we're moving around without the skill active, it's not really, it wasn't making any difference in the noise. So I checked that a little bit earlier as well. So let's go in here and let's check the, or let's add the other, the next skill point. And then we're going to see if that makes a difference in, uh, in whatever it does. We're going to see if there's any difference because, you know, looking at the description, it kind of was doing what it said it was going to do anyway. So let's uh, go ahead and let's activate the skill. So once again, we're just checking here. It's giving us the wind speed and the direction that it's going. And it's still only giving it to us for a four hour interval. So it didn't affect the interval at all. It didn't really look like it, it affected any of the stats. Now, once again, don't let the wind speed fool you. It's different from before, but that's probably because we, you know, closed the game down and then went back into the game. And so that obviously would have changed. And once again, just a 30 second timer on this skill. Now, once again, when we move around, not really any difference in the sound bar that we can see. Once again, when we think about it, it's, um, you know, we don't have a decibel value, but it mentioned something about seeing how the wind rolls over the hills and stuff. Let's just 
kind of look around and see if there's any other visual cues that we can see. And we don't really see anything. So I don't want to scare anybody off this skill, but I don't really see the need for it considering that we can look in the sky and we can see the how the wind is moving by the debris flying through and the speed by how quickly that debris is flying through. So I'm, I would just say that just to remember that when the wind is stronger, the scent cone is narrower and longer. And then when the, the wind is quiet, it's wider. So animals can scent you a little bit more, but you be the judge whether or not this skill is for you. From Yukon Valley, this is Call of the Wild Tutorials saying happy hunting.